Hello guys, welcome to DFT Code Word YouTube channel. Uh, this video is in the continuation of our previous video that is the installation of Win2K 23.1 with libxc. First of all, you should have the installed uh, uh, downloaded Win2K in the Win2K folder of your computer. Just simply applying the command of tar, you should uh, unzip these folders one by one that is the executable for Win2K 23.1 so as the Win2K main folder. So these are the commands to unzip uh, the zipped folders and after successfully unzipping this folder you have to gunzip by applying gunzip star.gz commands to all the uh, folders and next is to change modes uh, for all executables of dot backslash expand and expand command is applied. Now you have to uh, apply this backslash site configure underscore lab w to configure, uh, continue and uh, use the LG that is the Linux and G4 run environment for the installation of uh, Win2K. Yes, by simply entering here you, you can see that Linux and G4 run environment is detected, uh, selected by applying LG command now apply enter uh, this is the option for compiler that is G4 tran for our now the CC this is very important that the libxc all the all the open blast libraries are uh, uh, obtained or detected we have to apply enter to move it further this is important that you are going to check the uh, libxc installation if you have not installed you can see our video and install it first and you simply uh, apply yes and you will see the libxc is searched and you have the selected option 2 so as the fftw is installed in the sudo dir or your uh, sudo directory it is specified uh, its number you can use this by applying this command. You can so select it, its number that is one. This is cache, and you can see that all these required detections now where is the important thing about the library of uh, open blast package we have installed the uh, in uh, open blast in opt folder that is sudo we, so you, you you should specify that path to change the highlighted one rather than user it should be opt underscore opt backslash uh, open blast and the library of open blast you can also cross verify like that just go into the opt folder and open blast and library so you can see that library of open glass is found over here and we have to specify this path to configure it properly the open blast as well as the pack package so by applying this path with the same minus lp thread we will be able to change this path in next step after applying enter just apply enter and you will see that the path will be changed for our libraries you can see that the path is successfully changed so now save and continue save and quit just apply s yes. apply enter this is the shared memory uh, for multi cores no and number of cores are not more than 20 more than 50 
50 rather we should apply Q and compile it for all programs now the compilation is has been started uh, it is important to note, note that uh, if if, the, if your open blast directory is not correctly specified you might get errors so as your libxe directory so the important thing of this video is that uh, the libxe is is attached with win2k or win2k is installed with libxe so you can easily use your uh, meta ggas after the installation of win2k latest version 23.1 with libxe so it is actually configuring and it may take some time you can see that it is in process you can see that uh, the main main uh, precautionary measures for installation of uh, latest version is that you should specify your paths very carefully FFTW and open blast are the necessary packages and uh, it should be installed in uh, OPT so that it can easily detect able for the for this version of it to get So check the previous videos which contains the required packages, libraries and libxe installations to make Win2K work. Yes, it is, it is completed. You just have to apply and uh, to continue you can see that there are no compile time errors appeared here if you have uh, applied or uh, specified wrong paths for open blast or uh, fftw or even for libxe you might get errors under this so no errors appeared here so our win2k 23.1 is installed are configured successfully we just have to apply enter and uh, use this to complete all the basic basic uh, requirements users and temp directories by simply applying uh, by simply en entering you will automatically select these so now you know you know we have to uh, after the successful site configuration we have to apply the user configuration like is so dot backslash user configure configure underscore lab w is will be applied here like that about the editors or emac and all the other directories that is win2k alongside our main folder of win2k small letters it after this it will be uh, there will be a new folder with capital win2k name you have to close this emac and now just copy it dash setting and apply it over here and uh, as your installation is completed you can simply use w2 web welcome to web terminal yeah, this port is easy you can use this index you 
will get four digit port you have to apply w2 web minus b that is port number four digit number and apply enter you will get a link just simply open it and use it so by clicking on this link you can simply open uh, your browser and you can use the uh, pin to k with applying or setting your username and password thank you for watching this video